What's up, my dude? How's it going today? Dak Blake here, and today we're playing a brand new game called the Verminder Curse. Is it, uh, is it Verminder? Vermander? Verm Verminder? I have no idea. Actually, I don't even know what this game is about, but it's by Zed Technician, the same person that made, um, the man from the window, be, uh, beware the shadow catcher. So it's kind of like, we have, like, this trend of, like, the man from the window moving and, and going to different games. It's almost like, is this, like, the man from the window's older brother? I have no idea. But as you know, your boy Zach Blake, I'm gonna probably try to break the game, do things a little bit differently, and just have some fun. So, uh, let's begin. All right, start a new game. Let's load it up. Okay, so we got a cutscene. It always starts like a really cool cutscene. Uh, so let's see. Okay. So we have a, a brand new character, Hannah. She says, you wanted to see me, Mr. Ver... <laughs> you know, I gotta decide, is it Verman? No, it's Verminder. Let's just say Verminder. You wanted to see me, Mr. Verminder, sir? Okay, so let's see what happens. Uh... Oh, he turns around so, <laughs> so creepily. I don't know why, but that was funny to me. He just turns around all weird. <laughs> He's just like. <laughs> oh, we got to give him a cool voice. Hannah, why aren't this month's profits as high as last month's? Oh, well, it's kind of, uh, kind of weird. I don't know what kind of character he is, but he looks kind of like sinister in the sense of like. He looks greedy, yeah, this month's profits, okay. Also, his name is like JP Verminder, which sounds like somebody who's rich. We have to give him like the rich voice. I've been looking all over that piece of paper you gave me. <laughs> That's such a bad voice. I've been looking over that piece of paper you gave me earlier and I don't like all the numbers on it. <laughs> why is he, why is he talking like this? He's so mad at Hannah, he's like, why are the numbers? Stop it! I can't make the heads or tails out of that dang thing. They they raised the threshold on how much you need to donate in order to get your tax deduction. Remember, sir? They did what? <laughs> Why? I feel like I feel like Zed Technician sees these videos and just always adds a character who's just yelling in the beginning of the game. I feel like he's doing that. When was this? Sir, I, I've been reminding you about this for the last eight months but it's actually fine though you can still end up saving way more money than if you didn't get the deduction so with the good lord as my witness i am being swindled i will not stand for this <laughs> he just turns around but i will sit for this so carry on <laughs> no one gets over on jp verminder no sir not now and not ever but sir now then where have i been donating all of my heart earned money to again see the thing is it's starting so intensely obviously jp verminder probably looks like he's a rich guy but he's not donating to be a good person he's literally donating for the sole purpose of not having to like spend as much money it's it's backwards like he's donating so that he gets less taxes Come on, you gotta be a good person, JP Verminder. She's like, the hospital, sir. Hospital? The which one? There's only one in town, sir. She's so confused, by the way. She's like, why are you, what are you doing? <laughs> so um, I guess it just keeps going. He's just so mad. Oh wait, what, what's this? <laughs> Prepare the ritual, Hannah, and go fetch me my robes. What kind of ritual is this? The ritual? Uh, but Mr. Verminder, sir, please, this is, entirely uncalled for. The people in that hospital have done nothing to you, sir. Besides, the difference in profit between this month's and last month's is only about 1% less, sir. That's nice and all, Hannah, but I don't remember asking. <laughs> Why is he so mean? So I think how this works is called the Verminder Curse, right? It's like he's doing some like demonic thing. Do we have to stop him somehow? Is he walking around? He does kind of look like the man from the window. Like if you take off all the hair, he has like the blue eyes and like crazy teeth. Oh man. Now go. We don't have time to waste. Notify me immediately when everything is ready. <laughs> and he's just got like his eyes back there. He's starting to stare at the fire and he's just like, <laughs> oh, it looks like we're in the hospital now. And we got a giant rat nurse, Nurse Morton. Hello. Hello. Anyone home? I feel like I've decided to give him that voice. <laughs> I feel like my voices are so bad though. I hear ya, I hear ya. Give a gal a minute. All right, what's going on here? It looks like we have like papers. Oh, we're gonna have to figure out so many things. Oh, Dr. Edna. I feel like 
She kind of reminds me of like characters from like Monsters Inc. She you know, just give her like a nasally voice. Yeah. Ah, uh, hello there, Doctor Ida. I presume that's me. Who's asking? Uh, fantastic. I I'm Morton, the nurse who's transfer request you received. The transfer request. What in the world are you talking about? You aren't aware. S surely you've read the email concerning me. <laughs> it says we don't, we don't get any regular. <laughs> you sunny boy. I feel like everybody in this game does have like a unique. I guess character, and it's all in text. I, I really like it. Only thing we can get out here is that old satellite connection. And we ain't got that either. <laughs> but uh, if you're here to help, then I ain't about to complain. You got a lot to learn, so you better pay attention because I'm only saying this once. Okay, here it is. Here's the super complicated thing. Every game that Zed Technician has made, the man from the window, but we're the shadow catcher. You really got to pay attention. And I ain't bad at that. <laughs> all right, says, so cause I'm only saying this once. Okay, I'm all ears, doctor. Okay, well, this is what we do. When patients come in, I write their information down on this here clipboard. Okay, so patient name, Langboid, severe back injury, next dosage, 1 a.m., room number two, dang. Okay, so there's three. We got Tammy Giles, Jane Doe. Hey, severe hand injury. Hey, look at me. <laughs> all right, so she writes the names down. Wouldn't it be better to use the computer instead? <laughs> it would, it would be better to use the computer, but she says no. All right, so, uh, so the waiting area, is there anybody here? So the waiting room is over here. Ain't much to say about it. All the magazines are older than I am. None of them are worth reading. Oh my. Okay. And then I feel like I'm still kind of confused on what I have to do, but here are all the rooms. All right. Uh, we got eight rooms. Really? Also, I'm not clicking next and they're still walking. I wonder if, does the cutscene change? Like what if they get to the end of the hallway? Do they just stand there forever? <laughs> I feel like this is my my inner like need to break the games come out. I'm like, we got eight rooms. And then she walks for like <laughs> five minutes. Oh, right, I guess they do just stand at the end of the hallway. We got eight rooms. And then she just stares at you. <laughs> so three are occupied and the rest ain't. Mr. Langboyd is in two way. Okay, so I remember reading him, Langboyd, and we had a pretty uh, bad back injury, but we fixed him right up. So Tammy Giles is in three A. So there's two A, three A. And she need one of them teeth pulled. We ain't got many options for anesthetic. Oh, dang. Okay, so I gave her some of that old fashioned medicine I keep under the sink. She'll be a little dizzy for a while, but everything uh, went smooth as silk. Okay, impressive. And 4A, so two, three, and four. All right, poor thing cut her hand up real bad on the job, tried to hide it, her bo boss found out and sent her here. Okay, so she, has, she hasn't figured out her name, so I wrote her down as Jane Doe and patched her up. Ah, I wonder who she is. Uh, okay, so I think, that's it, all right. Oh wow, this is getting more complicated. So two bathrooms, an operating room, and something like a kitchen. Oh, excellent. The lights in here don't work half the time. Great, <laughs> that's gonna be creepy. So we keep our medicine supply in the OR, which is the operating room, but most of the bottles are empty because the budget ain't paying to refill them. And there ain't nothing in the fridge. So don't even bother checking. Oh, does anything in this hospital function as intended? Not really, and that's about it. Let's head back to the front desk so we can get you signed in and start on your first shift. Okay, this is stressful. <laughs> Wait, so are we different? Doctor, I mean, no offense, but this workstation isn't very well set up. Have you ever considered a beggar organization? Oh wait, am I playing as a doctor? I guess I am, I can see my nose right now. <laughs> okay, so where do I go? All right, the waiting area, which is really dark. I can't see anything in here. So maybe we have to begin by checking up onto the patients, right? Oh gosh, why does this guy look so crazy? It's 9.16, 9.17 p.m. Uh, time is counting, everything all right in here? I'm fine, doc. Matter of fact, I feel like I can walk out of here right now. <laughs> okay, so uh, his whole story is that he fell off a ladder um, and just fell over and now he's hurt. Uh, this is like, uh, that looks like an exolotl, like the, was it the creature? So we're gonna check up on this one. This is the lady with the medicine. Oh yeah, the tooth. <laughs> okay, so she needs to get some rest. And then where's the last person? 4A, right here. Looks like a squid creature. Okay. So now we're checking up on all of them. Hand is fine. Ain't nothing to worry about. It'll grow back good as new. It got cut off. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I checked on everybody and now I have to go back to Mr. Morton. Everybody says, oh, hey, whoa, hi, hey. hey. Hi there, you startled me, jeez. Uh, so he says, Dr. Ida, the phone started ringing while you were gone, so I answered it, and the caller won't stop going on and on about rituals and demons, among other things that I don't understand. I think it may be best if you talk to her. 
Oh gosh. Okay, so this is where the whole verminder curse thing happens, right? I think. Oh, so it's Hannah. So she's telling us to get out of there, summon an actual genuine demon, and now you're all in danger. And who do you work for again? JP Verminder, madam. Oh, he's a rich city boy, moved out here when he inherited his family's estate, and they have to pay him rent because his family owns the land. And yep, that's him. Uh, there's a blood pact and a demon and a curse and all kind of other stuff. You need to leave now. Once the clock strikes 10, you won't be able to leave. And that's less than in two minutes. Oh, no. A few old journals kept by the Verminders. Based on what I read, you can make it to sunrise. The demons will leave. But there's a bunch of rules that you need to follow in order to keep yourself safe. For example, every hour until sunrise, the demon will enter the place it was summoned to. It will travel down the nearest hallway in search of blood. Specifically, your blood. Its own rules prevent it from opening doors in search of you. So keep it... Oh, keep those closed. Okay. So what room are you both in? The reception area. You need to keep that in mind, all right? When the demon arrives, make sure you're on the same room when the ritual as the when the ritual started. This is confusing. So am I supposed to be here? Or am I supposed to continue to be in the same room? Okay. And once it knows where someone is, the doors won't stop it. If you're ready, I can tell you what to expect once 10 o'clock hits. So the demon places a lot of emphasis on windows for some reason, right? It's the man from the window. Oh no. Okay. So I'll try to use its powers to open up windows around itself. You're going to need, I cannot stress this enough. You're going to need to close any and all windows before the hour is up. Leave one open and the demon gets stronger. You don't want that. All right. If you finish everything you need to do before the hour is up, try starting at a clock. I'm sure it'll help pass the time extra faster. Uh, I'll stay in the line just in case you need me to repeat something. Okay, 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 okay. Good luck, be careful. Oh no, it's 10. It's 10 right now. I I'm too late. Uh, excuse me, are the windows closed? All right, excuse me, uh, the door. Door closed. All right, go, go, go. Windows closed. Windows closed. Close this window. Are you, are you a maniac? There's a man out there. Okay, so maybe we come in here. Can I like switch characters? Uh, I'm scared. I don't know. It, it's 10, 10. Uh, let's just test this out because I, I think I'm going to get caught right away. I feel like that's how it always happens. So if we close this one, I think they're all safe. Uh, let's see. Doctor, not really. Okay, okay, okay. I feel like I don't have time to talk to you. Come on, let's go. Let's hide in here or something, right? Do I wait? Excuse me! Why are you just standing there? Come on! Can I check outside? I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. Hold on, can I talk to her again? Oh wait, there's other rooms. There's other rooms that probably have open windows, huh? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Is there, does this have an open window? It's a bathroom. I feel like it's getting louder. All right, I've checked every room. There is no open windows. This kitchen is fine. Okay, operating room is fine. Oh, so I think we are supposed to be in here when the ritual started. So we'll stand right here. And I think the time will go by faster. Is that what I'm supposed to do? I think I did everything. I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to do. Gosh, stop staring. <laughs> He's just looking at me. Oh my gosh. Uh, I guess we're just staring at this clock now and it's gonna be 11 o'clock. Like, oh, right here. The time was 11 p.m. All the windows had been closed and then it arrived. Okay, so what happens? Oh, it burst through the exit door. Oh, so all the doors are closed. It looks around. There's nothing open. And it can't open this one, can it? Oh. oh. Okay. So, oh, okay. Yeah, it looks like this is like the man from the window. He's walking around so intensely, right? Okay. Boom. All right. So, I think we've made it to the next part. This is intense. Here's what's going to happen next. You'd be surprised how much the demon's powers resonate with electronics. It can gain access to the phone lines and try to gain power too. If you notice the phone is continuously ringing, then that's what it's exactly trying to do, all right? Now, this is going to sound crazy, but you need to pick up the phone and listen. Pay attention because this part is important. If you hear anything, I mean anything on the other end, you got to recite this mantra. Your presence is not welcomed here. You must depart immediately. Don't worry. But remember it when the time comes. But if there's a silence on the other end of the phone, and keep quiet. Oh. Silence means it hasn't properly figured out the phone's location yet. And you don't want to give it any clues, all right? Doctor, you look tired. That's because I am. Let me handle things. You should rest. Uh, okay, so what do we do? All right, so I'm going to go check all the windows again. Just making sure. Man, Morton is so much taller for some reason. So they're just sitting in there. Everybody's safe, right? All right. All right, you haven't opened up the windows. You're good. You're good. Okay, okay. I almost want to get it wrong at first, though, <laughs> to kind of see what it... Oh, this window's open now. Okay. Oh, wait. I just heard something. I feel like the next time the window's open, I want to see what's out there. Oh, phone's ringing. Phone's ringing. Okay, coming. Ah, was that the phone? Did you hear something? Yes? Oh, nothing. Okay. Was there a phone somewhere else? Oh, it's this. Okay. Shh, shh, shh. You listen closely. You don't hear anything from the other side of the phone. Say nothing. You can sense that the presence on the other end of the phone has departed. <gasps> a 
Okay. <laughs> All right, it's getting intense. Here we go. <laughs> What are you doing here? Oh no. Now I am please. Strange things are happening. I need to get back to the room. Huh? My bad. I'll go back now. Why are you out here? Why are you? You're trying to get yourself killed. Man, I didn't even know. Like, I was honestly not even going to check these things. All right. She's back in her room. Everything is good. I feel like a lunatic. I just keep opening and closing doors. All right. Uh, let's just walk around here. All right. I think we're good. Oh, I could just like. Okay, there we go. I think it's good. The time was 12 a.m. All the windows had been closed. All the phones had been answered correctly. Boom. Wait, no, 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 no. Wait, whoa. Oh, no. So wondering if there was anything that could be done about it, she went to attempt inquiring about it. No. So and then it arrived. Wait, is this supposed to happen? Was I supposed to give her more medicine? I, w I didn't know. I didn't know. Oh, no. Oh! Okay. Oh, that's so creepy. Okay. What? So it says Jane Doe had done all she could to hide her injury from others. Her reasoning was driven by the knowledge that even a simple hospital visit could result in her never seeing her family again. What? Unfortunately for her, this fear was realized by entirely different means. Oh my gosh! So what happens now? Do we have to keep these patients alive. Uh, what was that noise? Please, please tell me you didn't forget something. You can't let- Oh my gosh, you can't let this thing do any more damage than it already has, so please try to focus, listen to this. Here's what's gonna happen this time. The demon will try to draw power from any lights and gain access to it, right? <gasps> okay, you know it's inside a room to siphon power when the lights start flickering. When it happens, all you need to do is enter the room, close the door, and shut your eyes for a few seconds. You're really gonna need to use the sp- Base inside your mind for this to work. Okay, you know it worked when the lights stopped flickering. Okay, make sure you do it right. Okay, if you don't, and start. Okay, okay, okay. So let's make sure the back injury next dosage 1 a.m. The next dosage is 11 a.m. Okay, uh, okay, so now we have to give Lang Boyd. I forgot, like, that was also a thing. Oh, the lights are flickering. Okay, uh, do I, I close my eyes or something? Okay, closing my eyes. Oh. Uh, I don't know if it's doing anything. Am I good? Are the lights good? Okay, it's good. All right, I got some a medicine, I guess, for the first uh, first person. Okay, Lang Boyd. Ah, I can't open this door. On the way, though, I'm going to check all of the doors. So eight is good, or all the windows, I mean. Oh, no, now I got to do this. Oh, is somebody out there? I'm scared. All right, here we go. You listen closely. You can hear shadow breathing. Wait, is it as if he says something? I don't... Uh, it, it, he said if it was it, if it was saying something, right? If he says anything. He didn't say anything. No! No, 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 no! I, I didn't know. I was trying to guess. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Well, you know what? Uh, I think that I am just going to do the best I can and just see what I can do. All right. So I'm going to give him... Uh, some stuff. They're all fighting. Uh, here, how do I how do I give you stuff? How do I give him a new dosage? How do I how do I do that? Uh, I don't know if it gives me the option, but all right, I guess you're done for. I feel like I've already lost everybody. I almost want to like purposefully lose here so that I can kind of oh, and I'm I'm already doing it. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, all the windows have been closed. Here it is. Here's me getting attacked. <laughs> oh, but a phone had been answered incorrectly, and he began to grow stronger. Oh my gosh, what is she doing? All right, you know what? This is this is the best. You know. We are breaking the game here in that sense. We're just going to get the worst ending. So she was currently in the bathroom area, wondering the, who the woman staring back at her was. And then it arrived. I think we lost everyone here. So he bursts through. Um, I'm guessing that he's going to see uh, me. Yep, there it is. Okay. And now... <laughs> okay, so we're gone. And then what happens? So... I think we got another ending. The doctor hasn't returned yet. Oh no, this isn't good. We can't handle this. Okay, wait, stay, try to stay calm. You're not alone, I'm still here with you. Wait, oh, I have to still go on? So now we have to do things with TV. Just turn the TV off. Okay, uh, but don't leave any TVs that it, it's controlling on, all right? So it did say that 1 a.m. was the next dose. Oh no, okay, just say it here. Hello, all right, you listen closely. You, you can hear a faint whispering. Okay, recite the mantra. You can sense the present as disparted. Okay, 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 let's go. All right, this TV has been on. Turn it off. Man, this is like Five Nights at Freddy's in the sense that you have to like check on everything. All right, let's give you a dosage. Uh, sir, I've brought all the scheduled paid medication. Okay, there it is. Wait, 
I thought I saw somebody back there. I th I swear. I feel like I'm going crazy. Okay, well, I'm closing that. Uh, okay. <laughs> Am I going crazy? Is there anybody out there? I'm gonna close it just to be sure, but, uh, yeah. Wait, the person in 3A is not there. Oh, wait, because we lost them. Okay. Oh, wait, but 4A too. Yeah, go back to your room. What are you doing? Why is it so dark in here? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna tell you to go back. All right, that should be good. I think that's it. I think we've done every possible thing. Man, the game is actually kind of like, it's, uh, it's very complex because I think normally you would, uh, like lose if you do one thing. Oh, did you see that? Yo, this is welcome and men. Let's just see what happens. We'll give them a high five. We'll become good friends. The time was 2 a.m. All the windows have been closed. All the televisions have been turned off. All the phones have been answered correctly. Oh, but a light had been left flickering and the demon was empowered even further. Oh, it all had now almost fully manifested and then it arrived. What happens? Okay, so he's walking through. Let's see. He's gonna turn. There's nothing to get, so he just leaves, right? I win? Wait, he went through the wall! What? So I guess I got the worst ending. <laughs> oh man, no one can make any sense of it. Both Doctor Edna and Nurse Warren have suddenly disappeared without a trace. No signs of a struggle, of forced entry, and absolutely no clues as to where they'd gone. They'd both simply vanished. Oh man, so, um, jeez. So the, the hospital's been abandoned. Oh man, so the town was suffering as well. It suffered just as much as Morton's now and oh my gosh! None had suffered as much as now Morton's now an orphan daughter. They make you feel really bad about losing. They're like, mm, you ruined the whole town and his daughter and uh, we burned all the grass. There's no more grass anymore. <laughs> Man, this is dark. It's like now she's in an unfamiliar town without her uh, father. And the truth is, however, was only known by Hannah. She feared what might happen should Verminder ever go to figure out her involvement in trying to prevent this plan. What she wanted more than anything was to pack up, leave town, and go somewhere very far away. Somewhere she could be safe, but her meager salary as a secretary didn't allow this. She continued working. And this is like a whole story now for someone she both feared and despised. Too afraid of what he may do should she try to quit. With Hannah's silence, no one could ever tie the disappearances back to anyone or anything. And J.P. Verminder got away without conscience. Untold amounts of misfortune had been brought upon a small town. But in the end, Verminder got it to keep his extra 1%. Jeez, that just shows how evil like rich people are and that's all that mattered. Okay, now I want to try to get the worst worst ending. I want to leave all the doors open. I want to leave everybody just standing in the hallway. I got to see what happens. All right, so first let's open all the doors. Let's just see. All right. Hey, oh, oh, oh there we go. All right, I'm going to open every door. Uh, I'm just going to stand. Oh, wait, I can't. I have to look at the clock if I want to like actually do it here. We'll go like this. And you know, actually, I'll stand in here. Uh, I'll close this door. I just want to see what happens when all the patients are lost. All right, let's see. Let's see what happens. So, boom. Here we go. The time is 11 p.m. The window had been left open, and it began to grow stronger, and then it arrived. So, every door is open. So, <laughs> it's just comical. He's walking like, does nobody care? <laughs> oh, wait. But does... What does he do? Does he just stop at the first door? Oh, yep. There it is. He stops at the first door and gets that person. Do is, does it continue though? So on the Davis accident, his mind was not the potential of his uh, consequences from his actions. Far from it, in fact, his mind was instead now on how happy his wife and children would be after he cooked their favorite dinner. Why does it make you feel so bad? Why does it do that? You lose the game on purpose and it's like, well, the world is now over. Don't you feel bad? That person wanted to make food for their family and you suck you suck man okay now oh my gosh he's doomed their entire family okay well i guess that's just one character right and then we have to do the other characters all right we're gonna do it again <laughs> I, got, I gotta break the game even more i gotta see i gotta see what happens when he gets everybody so all the doors are open still okay yeah let's just <laughs> we were given like cues on how to save everybody's life and we're just like man when do I get off work? Man, this is boring. <laughs> All right, look, I'm just gonna let it go. The time was 12 a.m. <laughs> but a window had been left open, a light had been left flickering, and he was empowered even further. Okay, so now does it, wait. Oh, now, now she's in there. Oh man, okay, so let's see what happens. All right, so he bursts through the door. He stops immediately, and I think he sees, um, oh yeah, yeah, this girl, okay. So he chases her down. 
and now he's gotten two out of the three people. Oh man, Tammy Giles was known as an awkward and shy person. She hadn't wanted to visit the hospital. It was only when her tooth pain became unbearable. Oh man, okay, well, how is it gonna make me feel bad now? Oh, it just said it would ultimately be her last decision. Okay, not, it doesn't make me feel too bad. <laughs> all right, so we're just gonna leave the doors open. We're gonna leave all of the windows open. Uh, I think that now it's gonna chase us through the walls. But, uh, that's- that's fine. Alright, there's only one person left. I guess we'll see the ending where we literally did the absolute worst. Oh wait, let's close this so that we don't get attacked. Uh, but yeah, let's see what happens. So, the time is finally up. It was 1 a.m. I think this is it, but a window had been left open. I think I saw him for a second. A light had been left flickering, a phone had been left ringing, <laughs> and he was able to draw power for a third and final time, which enabled it to fully manifest. There would be no stopping it now. Okay! So he opens the door. I think he sees the last person. I think we'll get a different end. Oh no. This is even more different. Oh, with his power fully realized, the demon was no longer limited to the confines of the hospital he was summoned to. One can imagine the destruction a powerful all-seeing demon could bring upon a small and unsuspecting town. Compounded with the fact that the only hospital was now out of commission, it led to one of the darkest nights in the town's history. Though in the end, JP Vermender got to keep his extra 1%. That's all that mattered. So that is the true worst ending. Oh my gosh. Well, we have done the worst job we could possibly do. I actually tried on the first time through and I ended up just losing because I was standing around. But I have been recording this for quite a long time. Uh, maybe we can revisit this in the future and try to break it even more. Maybe even mod it. But I hope that I made you smile along the way. That's all I want to do every single day. You know, like, if you're ever feeling bad, you can look up Dak like We can play some games together. I could cheer up once more. But nevertheless, thank you guys for watching. Uh, and thank you for subscribing as we go to 2 million. I, like I always say, I thank God that I'm able to do this. Just playing games differently. Doing things in my own way. Making you guys laugh. I will see you in the next episode. Probably coming up right now. I'll see you there. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, peace out, my dudes.